Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com with an awesome unboxing. First of all, huge thanks over to the guys at 42nd Street Photo of New York City. You can find them at 42photo.com and all of their contact information it should be on the video right now. There is also an exclusive coupon code which is in the video description below. If you use that coupon code when purchasing this camera, you will also get a free battery which is always good. Anyway, this is the Nikon Coolpix P500. An awesome camera. Check it out, guys. 36x optical zoom, or 36 times, depending upon how, how you say it. By the way, pretty cool box. It's like a rubberish texture. Well, it doesn't feel rubber, it just looks like it. Anyway, CMOS, uh, backside illumination. Uh, where are we? 12.1 megapixels, which is pretty impressive. 3 inch LCD, very nice. Full HD movie. So, yes, this. Not only takes beautiful photos in 12.1 megapixel resolution, but it also does full 1080p video, which is awesome. And vibration reduction, and finally, dual image processor. Dual is always good. Anyway, enough talking, let's just open up the box. First of all, I should say I am going to Atlantic City Thursday into Friday, so this is perfect timing. I'm actually really excited to, uh, you know, take this with me on my trip, so it's just an awesome um, example of using the camera to take pictures of the beach and whatever. Anyway, uh, limited warranty, typical quick start guide, safety guide, uh, advertisements, here's software, Nikon View NX2, Windows, oh, and, and Macintosh. I really did not expect Mac support, but that's always a nice surprise. I doubt I'll use it because I use iPhoto, and pretty soon I'll probably upgrade to Aperture, but that's another video. Nikon user's manual is on the desk, which is pretty cool. Sorry, as I hit the camera. And take this out. Do you have an included Nikon Coolpix branded neck strap? Pretty sweet. USB cable for transferring your photos and videos. Standard video um, cables. Composite, if you want to get technical. An included battery charger. Pretty so actually not a charger. Um, okay, cool. You hook it up via USB, and I'm uh, and I'm assuming you charge it via that way. It's pretty cool. And finally, oh nope, not finally. Nikon uh, lens cap. That's always good. The battery, which is interestingly pretty long. Pretty cool. I don't know, I find it cool. I'm easily amused by different things like that because batteries are typically more square, but this is more of a rectangular shape. Anyway, clearly I only find interest in that sort of thing. All right, now let's take out the best part without breaking anything. Let's put this box aside. Come on, there you go. Open up the plastic. Very nice. I seriously cannot wait to use this. Again, the timing is just perfect with the whole AC trip and everything. Here it is, guys. A Nikon Coolpix P500. Beautiful, guys. And again, I really have to stress this. 36x. 36x optical zoom. That's pretty cool for a camera of this, of this caliber. Nice 3-inch wide screen. Very nice screen, you can see the fan spinning. On the side here we have your typical camera control buttons as well as playback button, menu, and trash buttons. We have a record button for video and display, which I'll obviously test all this later. Here are your mode uh, options, or your dial if you want to call it that. Pretty cool. Stereo microphone, pretty sweet. Uh, your camera shutter button, which you obviously do need. Little strap holder right there, or clip, whatever you want to call it. HDMI. So you can output full 1080p video from this thing, as well as hook up your USB right there. And, oh, and obviously, use your zoom uh, toggle. And flipping it around to the bottom, we do have your standard tripod mount, which I will use a lot, as well as your battery compartment and SD card slot. And that is the basic overview of the camera, guys. There are, you know, several buttons that I have not covered, but that's because I really do want to test this thing out first without claiming anything that I don't know. 
but overall this camera does look pretty sweet. I really cannot wait to test out the zoom, which should be a lot of fun. You like that quick camera change there? Anyway, again, huge thanks to 42nd Street Photo of New York City. I actually see them all the time. I just never really thought about reviewing their products, but I'm very fortunate for it, so thank you. Um, it's pretty cool that I've been seeing them all these years in New York City, and now they're supplying a camera for review. So I'm very fortunate. It's a huge thanks, guys. I really, really cannot wait to test this out in Atlantic City in both photo form and video form. And I believe it does 1080p video at 30 frames per second, which is better than my Canon PowerShot Alpha 3 inch HS, which does 1080p and 24 frames per second. Which is kind of obvious because there are different cameras, different prices, different sizes, so it's totally understandable. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if there's anything specific you want to see from this camera, let me know and I'll try my best. And yeah, see you guys next time.